National Polytechnic has embraced CBET training. The Polytechnic is mandated to train in technical fields and award certification at Artisan, which is level 3. We have um, craft, we have level 4, we have level 5, and we have level 6. Level 6 is actually the diploma level. Level 5 is the certificate level craft. We are also partnering with the Masindo Middle University and Masindo University to offer the degree programs after the students have completed their level 6, which is the equivalent of a diploma. And hopefully they join at second year. And then the process of signing the memorandum of understanding so that our students can be beneficiaries of the university programs. Now, in order to provide relevant industry-focused training, the Kisumu National Polytechnic seeks to train with the industry. And therefore, the spirit of dual training comes in. When we talk about dual training, we have four major objectives. One, promoting the involvement of industry in skills-based learning. And secondly, developing a skilled and progressive workforce for economic development. We also focus on enhancing the employability of graduates by providing industry-relevant training. And finally, fostering collaboration between training institutions and industries to address the evolving needs of the workforce and bridging the skills gap in training and the workplace. We have identified several industry partners in unique areas including aquaculture and fisheries, tannery and leatherworks, hospitality industry, mechanical and automotive industry, electrical and electronics engineering industry. We have the business uh, collaboration with our partners because you cannot talk about engineering courses without the management aspect. We have CBET courses in supply chain management, business administration. We even have the soft skills related courses. And we believe by creating a well-molded graduate, they need both the hard skills and the soft skills. We all know that hard skills will give you the job, but the soft skills will retain you on the job. And that is why we embrace both our technical skills and our business oriented process. We have a vibrant research and innovations department which have done proposals all along. We have been lucky to get the funding from the World Bank on the East Trip project through a funded winning proposal. We also have several other proposals which we can only talk about positively once they are signed and awarded. But we are working uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and the National Treasury to have another project that could be launched very soon. So my hope someone can remember what we said about the AI first, because in the morning, the class ahead in the morning, now someone also does. Now, what is this AI? Because probably has a question about So my name is Daniel Mwangi and uh, I'm going to be a facilitator for the today's session uh, on the Jitume program. Of course, like we have said uh, previously on uh, the training, it's going to entail entirely on the artificial intelligence. And so today, yesterday we had the introduction part of it and today we are going to get more into detail so that we can see 
what are these various projects that we are going to get in the AI area so that now we can be able to work on them. Uh, the Jitume Lab at the Kisumu National Polytechnic was facilitated with 100 computers and we have uh, great support from the area member of parliament, Dr. Joshua Oron. He has admitted uh, 300 students who have already started the training program. They will go through the training program for three months. They are on the first phase, the boot camp, and uh, after they complete the boot camp, they will be introduced gradually to the modules that will enable them to learn how to generate money income. However, there are those who are already making money from among the students of the Kisumu National Polytechnic. We are proud that our students can be able to express their positive attitude. A student who is able to make 25,000 shillings per week, 10,000 shillings per week, because it depends on the ability of the student and how they get attached to the, to the programs. So it is a good program. We really appreciate the ministry that donated the computers to us. And it is uh, in the spirit of uh, ICT and uh, digitalization that we are calling upon the youth. The Jitume Lab is supporting both the students within the Polytechnic and the youth from the county. We are here and open for all of you. The program runs a day shift and a night shift. We have engaged trainers from a collaborative partner called Leash and they are giving us valuable training to all the youth who are willing to partake of the training programs. I'm currently a Jitume graduate for virtual assistant. The program has helped me to achieve quite a lot. As per now, previously from last year, we were taken through the platform called the Remotas, which uh, has really impacted a lot on me. The first thing I can say about the site is that from gradual, uh, gradual experience, I learned how to navigate through the projects, and so far so good. I learned quite a lot from it, which has, which has enabled me to support myself in various ways. For my previous earnings, one of them was $632, which was paid on January, January the first week, which has enabled me to do one to three things and also improve much of myself. We have 10 departments, and if you are interested in doing a course in our institution, which is one of the uh, institutions that has been there for a very long time. I want to welcome you to the Kisumu National Polytechnic. As the Dean of Students, we deal with the students' welfare. We talk about students' health, accommodation, uh, we talk about sports, drama, music, co-curriculum activities in general. So apart from um, giving admissions to students, we also advise on the career paths that they can be able to take. Uh, we ensure that the academic life of uh, our students are okay. And uh, as we journey with the students through their academic journey, their last, their last stage is to ensure that they graduate. So we also ensure that at the end of um, their academic program here, they have been able to graduate and come up with the academic certificates that they were intended to come out with.